So in the sessions we discuss about technical analysis and the most important indicator of a technical analysis which is called RSI relative strength index. This is being used in various portfolio management segment is being used by the investors by the broking house by the investment bankers to find out what is the next price actions in future. So technical analysis basically gives you idea what is the price actions is going to be in a future like fundamental analysis. In fundamental analysis, we try to understand based on the balance sheet ratio cash flows. In technical analysis, we work basically on the price actions and we use various indicators to do the analysis. The target for both the study is to find what is the intrinsic value of the company and what could be the price after one year, what could be the price after three years, what could be the price after six months or three months. This is, is being used widely and is a globally accepted study which we use for every asset classes, whether it's the Indian market, whether it's the European market or US market. We mainly discuss about the RSI, that is a momentum oscillator. To, in simple terms, it considers uh, it considers stock price mo uh, momentum in the market. It considers if it is overbought or, or it is oversold. Uh, there is a metric that is that we consider that is uh, 70 and 30. If it reaches 70, it is overbought. If it reaches uh, 30, it is oversold. That indicates a buying opportunity and that indicates a selling opportunity. Fine. Now in this, you can see the parameter which RSI indicator is asking for parameter is price. The second parameter which is period. So by default is a 14 periods. Second parameter is overbought and oversold. So by default is coming 70 and 30, but Daniels have all rights to check whether SBI or maybe Apple is supporting 70 and 30. There is chances that the other company like Microsoft or TCS or Wipro will be working well with 80 and 20. It can be 14 periods, it can be 20 periods, it can be 18 periods. By default, it comes at 14 period look back, whereas 70 and 30 is overbought and oversold. For example, uh, we have put RSA indicator and it hit 20, the least one. So does that mean that that is the cheapest possible price for the last 14 look back periods? If it's in a oversold zone, maybe 30 or 20 or 25 or whatever, it never means that this is the cheapest price, but it's indicate oversold situation or zone for the stocks or any asset class, there are a lot of a company, Apple's or Microsoft or top company which is having a high market capitalization, their price action stays in overbought and oversold zone for a long time and is not indicative that immediately when it's touching to a 70 or 80 zone or overbought or oversold is going to take an immediate fall from there. The other parameter need to be considered at the same time. Parallel, we have to check RSI with other indicators as well to come to the conclusion. Alone, RSI is not a suffi sufficient indicators for analysis. You have to consider other indicators at the same time to take your views. And if you're writing any research report for the industry or anywhere, you have to consider multiple factors which impacting the price action. So can we use RSI to like uh, look out for potential breakout or breakdown in a stock? Like let's say uh, if a stock has formed a double bottom pattern, which is a bullish pattern and the RSI of that stock is around 50 or 60 levels. So like is it good to take a long position in that? It's a valid question. You know what happens? RSI is indication of a strength in the current move. It can be in up direction or down. Now for looking at the breakout positions in the stocks or any asset classes, you have to look at the price actions volume. Volume is the indicators whether it's a fake breakout or is a real breakout the primary and most important indicator. Other factors which helps indicating the breakout and breakdown is a Bollinger Band. So Bollinger Band helps you whether the price is squeezing or price brushed or price is intact in the same standard division of two. So RSI indicatively more indicatively used for a strength in the current move rather than finding a real breakout. Those who are sitting in the terminal can easily quickly just have a look on RSI with any company you want. Just apply RSI and check this. So that will comes under the zone of zero to 100 and set overbought, oversold zone. I'm just changing this to some other company. Let's have a look on and try to understand more deeper. So uh, I'll just change it to Apple, US equity. This is Apple, which is current market price is 188.85. And you can see what is the situation here. Can anyone, 
can quickly look at this this, this chart price action can tell me what is happening in uh, apple company and what is the situation of rsi what is rsi is indicating here so the stock is currently in a sideways trend and the rsi is almost like uh, 50 levels so we can say like it can go it can have a bit up move till maybe 200 or 195 levels which which will be the next resistance for the stock so what is the next resistance you mentioned uh, around 195 or 200 perfect perfect very good so what is happening in this case is you can see the oversold zone which is indicatively in green line that is moving from oversold towards overbought as you mentioned is perfect now this movement from the oversold towards overbought is currently at equilibrium so the one line which you are finding in between which is a 50 indicative line is the equilibrium sign which is a 50 so is indicate there is a potentials in the up move currently it's trying to move toward the overbought zone but it didn't reach to that zone i observed that uh, when we when we were looking at rsi and we were looking at the price action it was moving on par with the rsi as RSI was moving to the overbought, the price also was moving to the overbought and it was going to the downtrend. Now the next target, if somebody asks, correctly said the immediate resistance for Apple is coming around 195. So looking at the historical price actions. And just based on a risk, uh, this, this price which we have find, this uh, resistance which we are able to find, this resistance is basically on the ground of price action. We have not used any other indicators to find this resistance. Clear? Now I'm changing to other company and just give me a quick answer for this. Let's move for Microsoft. What is the price? It's 421 yearly. So what is the RSI indicating? And what is happening in the Microsoft current? Can you, can you tell me quickly? It is currently in the overbought situation. Is in overbought perfect and? It is more, almost towards its all time high. Okay, and? It has been on uptrend since a long time. It may have a fall in the coming future. Okay. So if you are a buyer of this, maybe Microsoft as a portfolio manager and Microsoft is there in your portfolio, what is the action you're going to take? First thing you said is an uptrend. Perfectly correct. Second you mentioned is an overbought. But it's an overbought from long time. And one point which I mentioned that there is a possibility that any companies, any, any stocks can be an overbought for a long time. It never means that if it's touching to overbought, there's a potential fall. So what is the analysis we can make from this class? So if you look at the Microsoft chart, so it is clearly in an uptrend position and the stock is almost at its all time high. So, and the RSI of the stock is around 71 levels. So if you want to invest in that stock right now, so you may wait a little bit because it is in the oversold zone. So we might, uh, you can wait a little bit to price to come down. And after that you can invest. Like if it's in a, unless it's giving a sign of a trend reversal, so you don't have to worry about uh, investing in that. So if the fundamental of the company is good, so you can go ahead with investing in that particular stock. We can use other indicators as well to depict if it is correct. Good, or. good. And very good. Who said fundamental? Yes. You have to use fundamental analysis at the same time. The fundamental analysis, the immediate thing which you can look at is quarter earning of a company. So Indian company is going with the quarter earning and today also we have a couple of companies going to release the quarters results. And uh, we are almost at the end of our quarter earnings. And those companies are going to share what is what is the balance sheet, what is their cash flows, ratios, and all that factors. So this is it indicates that is an overbought, and we have to look at the other indicator at the same time to give the final analysis that what is going to happen in the company before taking any real actions. So when we've taken the example of uh, Apple and Microsoft, we understood that uh, due to the RSI indicators, the 30 and the 70 that we've taken, so we understood that both of them were in the overbought zone. So we know that uh, when uh, it's in the overbought zone, uh, there may be a price uh, change or there may, be, there may be a fall in the prices or any change in price actions. When you see the Bloomberg terminal, I hope uh, many universities have don't have these of uh, terminal access to everyone. But here I'm waiting 24 by 7 of access. So whenever the student wants to learn the analysis, any of the analysis, they can learn by using these terminals. When I choose a case for discussion in the classroom, I look at whether the purpose of practical understanding and real-time problem statement is being considered in the class. Other thing is I look at the data, which is the real-time data than the imaginary data uh, in the case studies. Research 
analyst, there's a very prestigious and very ethical role. So considering the real time data and the most trusted data, because you are going to make a research report, you are going to give a target whether in portfolio managers or investment bankers or maybe investors from different domain is going to use your search where they are going to invest their money. So if you are using the real data and the data from the authentic source like Bloomberg, that is a very important uh, things to be considered in your analysis factor. There are a lot of things which we have to learn in stock markets like this is never ending, the learning is never ending. So we have to keep learning. So usually as we learn RSI here, so my understanding here is like if the stock is in an uptrend and the RSI is around the overbought level of 70 or 80, so we can see, we can uh, like predict that it will uh, correct a bit and uh, mainly because we don't have to worry about a trend reversal as uh, if the financials of the company is good. So it might correct a bit, but if the RSI is showing a good strength, then we can invest in that particular stock. I want to research about the divergence which is uh, which happens in the RSI where uh, the RSI indicator and the price action contradicts where the price uh, where the RSI is moving to the overbought and the price is falling. I want to research about that. I feel like uh, this is a gap. The gap is what industry is expecting from the MBA graduates and what we are teaching in the classroom. Whether it's very much theoretical. If it's very much theoretical, how can we reduce the theoretical portions and build the students in a practical ground. So this is how to do it because we cannot set up the entire industry working in the, in the institutions. So what we have done, there is a, one of the way of bringing financial things in the classroom with the faculty is talking about real time data, with the faculty is talking about cases, with the students is learning what is happening currently in the global factors in the different asset classes. Whether it's Indian, whether it's a US or is, is European indices or European companies. So the Bloomberg help us bringing entire information of finance at one domain. So anything you want to know about finance is a simply one click and you can get that and that helps students to learn and grow well. Relative strength index which we discussed in the class with the case form which is being shared with you all. This RSI indicators is not only the parameters which analysts use to find the price actions, to understand what is going to be in the price in future and what could be the next target for any company. Whereas we use multiple factors, we use multiple indi uh, indicators to understand what could be the next price. It can be MACD, it can be Bollinger Band, it can be Parabolic SAR, it can be Moving Average Crossover, it can be Divergence and Oscillators. So there are different indicators and a study which club together by the analyst, by the portfolio managers, investment bankers and broking house to judge the price actions, to understand the price action and give the target going forward.